All right, so in order to access STEM scopes uh, within Schoology, you will go to Add Materials. And as you look here, you'll see the different apps that are connected within Schoology, and STEM Scopes is located right here. Um, as you open STEM Scopes to add materials, um, you will see that actually all the scopes uh, that your district has access to populate. And so I actually have everything from kindergarten um, through all the elementary age, uh, grades, teaks, um, and such. But to search for your specific TEAK, you need to actually use the specific TEAK number. Um, you can't just search, like I teach eighth grade. If I just put eight, um, you're not gonna be able to just put eight and find what you need. So make sure you have your specific TEAK that you're wanting to look for. And so for we'll start with uh, 810A. Uh, we're starting with weather um, at the beginning of the year. And so if I pull up 810A, you'll see that it pulls up all um, of the new Streamline Texas teaks, the past uh, teaks, and then also the reteaks where 810A is also found. If I want to choose the stream, Streamline, which is, of course, our newest set of teaks, as I pull through that, uh, what you will see is it actually pulls through all of the different um, elements that I have um, if I was to view this on the STEM Scopes website. And so um, if I know exactly what I'm looking for, or if I don't know what I'm looking for, I'm actually able to peruse what I would find on the STEM Scopes um, <clears throat> site right here through Schoology. I'm able to go back and then also just continue looking and browsing if I just want to browse. Uh, if I want to go ahead and go straight to, let's say I know I want to use STEM Scopespedia, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And I find STEM Scopespedia right here under Explain. Again, I'm able to browse and, re and read through everything I, I need to if I need to check the resource. And if I'm good with it, I go ahead and I hit Submit Item and that takes care of assigning it to my students. And so now I'm back here in my Schoology materials list and I can see that the STEM Scopespedia resource has embedded and come through right here. As you can see, the, the, the title is a little funny if that was to come across to my students. So I go into my settings for this assignment and I can hit edit. In edit, I'm able to change that title to anything I would like it to be. Um, if I just want to take out this, this student ing, which is kind of this computer code that comes through as that resource pulls through, I can take that out. If I want to take out that, you know, it's part of the explain, and I just wanted to say the teak, um, the topic, and that it's STEM Scopespedia, then I'm able to have that title. Again, you're able to change it to truly anything that you want it to be. It's not going to change the access to that resource. If I want this to be a graded activity, I then come here and click Enable Grading. Um, the point scale is here. I'm able to uh, choose a due date um, for that. And I'm also able to choose the grading category. If I wanted this just to be a formative assessment, I've actually created this grading category in my Schoology. So I would choose it to be formative. I'm also able to go ahead and align of uh, this resource and this activity so that I can use the mastery tab in Schoology and track um, my students' mastery on each objective. I'm able to see the students' mastery and the students are able to use the mastery tab to track, to track how they are doing on uh, this particular standard. And so um, you can browse, but once you know the coding, which I know it's gonna be SCI, dot eight dot ten dot a for the standards here in texas i then hit enter and it pulls through that standard uh, the top one is the streamlined and i add that learning objective i then am able to hit save changes and now i can see that it's aligned and ready to go